What's up subdivision? We have some Hobbs hot sauce here. Um, this... Oh god, it sounds quite loose in there. It's the fire that takes you higher. A little sombreros and uh, chilies. Nice little bit of cultural appropriation there from the gorillas. I'm joking. Let's open this up. And when you open it, you get some little a bit of this now. On the lower end of the sauces, we have the pickle trickle. We've got a nice little picture of Russell there. This is mild. Has a pickled jalapenos, peppers, cactus. And you can you can read this. I don't know why I'm saying that. Pickle trickle inspired by Murdoch Nichols. Find the good in the green. A mild chili sauce with jalapenos and pickles to give a. Uh, Sorry, my camera cut out. Pickle Trickle inspired by Murdoch Nichols. Find the good in the green. A mild chilli sauce with jalapenos and pickles to give it Murdoch's patented surprise. That sounds menacing. Especially when the connotation with pickle is uh, crispy, tangy and sweet. Puts the oomph in a sandwich. Pop the top and trickle on potato salad. Beef burgers. Beef tacos. Beef tacos? Burgers, sandwiches, or just straight in your gob. Next up, we have the Chipotle. I mean, it's the same pretty much like on everything. The, um, the only thing that di the only difference of each bottle is the spice goes up. This is the medium one, and the blurb. So we have Chipotle, the smoky fire that takes you higher. Smooth and miraculous as Mr. Robinson himself. Who the fuck is Mr. Robinson? A mild hot chili sauce made with chipotles. Complex, smoky and tasty. Made for Mexican feasts, summer barbecues, winter casseroles and whatever you feel like in between. I must feel like looking at Ghost Base Killer. Okay, I really like the name of this one. This is pretty clever. This is the hot one. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's got your ghost peppers, it's got your chipotle, and it's got this description here which says Ghost Base Killer, a banging brew with the Barn Fathers crew. Which I haven't mentioned yet, this is uh, who they've collaborated with on this, on this hot sauce project. Hot, when it's hot, it's flaming, when it's cold, it's ice. Sweet, spicy, and simply scary. Beware. Add some soul to salads, breakfast, burgers, pizzas, wings, curries, ramen, and even other sauces. Now, I'm going to put these back in here. Because I'm sad and uh, I'm a maniac collector, this isn't the only Russell's hot sauce. I could have just closed this off camera. This isn't the only set of Russell's hot sauce that I bought. I actually bought this one as well with these three bottles. And I gotta tell you, out of the three of them, Ghost Space Killer was my favourite. Not just because I'm a masochist and I like hot stuff. In fact, despite this being the hottest one on the scale, I found the Chipotle one to be hotter. Don't know if that's just my fucked up taste buds, but... You know when something's so hot that it, like the flavour gets lost in it? Well, this was still flavoursome, but this was more flavoursome. So this was like a... it was a nice kick, but there was just... It was bursting with flavour. The Chipotle was hot, but there was more spice than flavour. And the pickle was an acquired taste. Like I like pickle. Um, it's not really hot, like at all. Obviously, it says on there it's mild, but it it just had like a bit of a slimy quality to it. But on occasions, I enjoyed it. On occasions, I didn't. Uh, but you could chug this from the bottle, and it would be fine. This one, um, my love for it sort of came and went. Um, it was, it had some, it had a little bit of flavour to it, but it was more just about the heat. This one was, it advertised itself as being like a motherfucker. It was just tasty as all hell. 
Um, I would definitely try these again if it wasn't £25 for three bottles of fucking sauce. Um, but, you know, this was the one to use. And this is the one for the shelf, so looks like that fire is never going to take me higher again. Because I'm not paying fucking £25 for some hot sauce. Says the man who paid £50 for it just to fucking try something and keep someone in shelf for years. See you next time, lads.